Okay, hello and welcome back to me playing Sims. Um, I thought today that I would go in and introduce other characters because I think the only ones I've introduced so far were the like the Marauders and yeah these guys, and then Lillian James moved to Windenburg with their bibbies that get on my nerves so much. Uh, I got back into the game to play a little bit and I tried to play them. I forgot I changed their outfits, they're so cute. But, oh my god, I just I just could not. Aw, oh, I made them so cute. But yeah, I just I couldn't, uh, could not do it. Look at his little shirt. Because they would just get tired every five seconds. And when I play, I don't like to cheat their needs if I can help it. Because it makes it more realistic. But I just can't. I just couldn't handle those kids. So, I went and played my other houses. I figured I would go ahead and introduce them um, to people who don't know them. Because some people do and some people don't. I don't know. This house... Hold on, can I manage it? Can I edit it? Yes. Um, it's just called Athens, but that's because that's Ev's last name. Um, at least it's what his last name is now. Originally it was not. So again, um, RP characters from old RPs. These two. These two were hilarious. They are sort of reincarnations of Greek gods uh, and their world was essentially like this post-apocalyptic um, revamp I don't even know how to explain it it was crazy um, in any case the gods had lost their powers because nobody believed in them anymore and you're so handsome, Ev. Ah, look at your face. Kind of reminds me of Aladdin a little bit. Um, let me give you your sunglasses back. I'm sorry. Anyway, so Ev here is the reincarnation of um, Thanatos, the Greek god of death. His best friend was Hades, a.k.a. Derek in that RP. And they ran the underground... Uh, they were basically mob bosses. They ran the underground drug trade, and they hated it. Neither of them liked it. Both of them wanted out, and they just did it because because it's what they had always done, and they had no other choice. And they were underground, so this world was literally split between like underground, above ground, and then there was the sky and I think the ocean. But anyway. They all wanted to live up in the sky because the sun and it's happy and everybody has, you know, whatever they want. And so to get out of the underground, Ev was staying in this, uh, this drug trade to get it. He wears sunglasses all the time. He never takes his sunglasses off because his eyes are very sensitive to light because he grew up in the underground where there isn't any really bright light. And also, uh, from a very young age, the god of death inhabits his brain so he's kind of two people he's ever in athens and he's thanatos they start off as separate entities and they kind of merge into one uh we didn't get to that point in the rp but that's what i always imagined then we have isa here isaiah he was the embodiment of hermes messenger god they knew each other Look at this hair. Did Sims get an upgrade? What the heck? Why is it so detailed? It used to just be like, you know, like basic clay Sims hair. Um, anyway, so he was, uh, he was Hermes. How, give me his outfits, dang it. And he, the, re the way they knew each other was because, you know, Messenger, he's the one that, you know, got all the drug, uh, traffic gang crap. Oh my god. What in the world? He's outrageous and annoying, and Ev 
both hates and loves him, but he would never say that he loved him ever. But I know because he's in my brain. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we'll just blank that out. That wasn't supposed to happen. I forgot that he didn't wear clothes when he slept, but. Anyway, so he likes to be outrageous. Uh, you could find him at Dionysus's parties. I don't remember Dionysus's person's name, but oh, okay. Let me tell you the tragedy of that is Ev. So let me get out of this. Actually, Everett, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, he was he loved one person his whole life. And it was this girl, and he fell in love with this girl. Uh, oh my god, I feel terrible because I don't remember her name. <laughs> I think it was Ava. I don't remember. It was Ava or Ava or Eva or something like that. And he's not around in my brain to ask right now. But anyway, so she, he fell in love with her, and he loved her. And then uh, over time realized that let's do these guys next he realized that uh like the gods in all of them started to kind of interact with each other and he found out that the god that inhabited her was persephone and he could never have her because persephone was with hades that was that was the deal and so everett had to let her go because Persephone called out to Hades, even though Everett and Ava, I'm going to call her Ava, I feel so bad if that's wrong, uh, but even though they loved each other, uh, the bond between Hades and Persephone was stronger, and so he had to let her go to be with Derek slash Hades. So that was sad. And I think he got, <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. It was sad. So let's get on to these guys. This is Rabastan Lestrange. Um, Y'all know him from Harry Potter because that's where he came from. He came from the same Harry Potter RP as the Marauders all did. He, I did not make him either in the same vein of Peter and James, his, uh, uh, care, his host, we'll say made him um and then I just ported him into my game he's a fabulous he loves the fashions look at this nice man I say nice and he's got the mean trait over here um he's so cute he's so adorable look at him in his little shorts uh anyway so yeah he likes to not be constrained by gender barriers, which is fantastic, I think. And he looks freaking fabulous. Look at those cheekbones. Um anyway, so obviously he was uh 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 uh, uh in Slytherin and the only interaction uh my characters had with him in that RP was Elsie, and I will show her. Oh, we didn't pick these outfits. These were randomly generated outfits. I thought one of these was a girl, though. Did it change? I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah. We got Robostan here. And I put him in with my other two guys because I didn't want to put him in with the girls, and I didn't want to put him in with the Marauders. Um, this is Benji, my Benji Fenwick. He thick. Look at these thighs. Um, he came from an RP, uh, oh my god, I forgot that I had freckles for him because he has freckles. He's so cute. I love you, Benji. So he's ginormous and, like, ripped and the sweetest, most gentlest little cinnamon roll ever he loves plants check it he's a freelance botanist he loves the outdoors he's silly he's oh that's cheerful he's silly though like he's so fun he doesn't talk a lot he's very shy 
But, oh, look at him. So suave. Uh, he came from an RP where the future, the, the, the war was never won. Um, I got this. This is so funny. Sorry. This, like, hairy body mod thing I've got, it makes him, like, really really hairy but I mean he would be but I just think it's funny it makes him kind of werewolfy um anyway uh yeah the war was never won and so they created these factions there was the order still but there was another faction because the order was like we we have to we have to fight but we have to fight um oh my god but we have to fight uh uh the right way. We can't do any underhanded crap. We can't um stoop to their level or whatever. So they kind of branched off into that group and the group that would do whatever it took to win the war, even if it meant stooping to their level. And all my characters were in that faction because that's just how they are. I don't think I looked at... These are the new... I like them. These two, this this flame one and the, the cold one are for the new seasons update. And I didn't have these before, so they just randomly generated outfits. I like them. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, so they all come from that. So Benji is very shy and quiet, and he doesn't really talk a lot. He's not very forward. I don't know if I want to say shy. He's not so much shy as he is cautious and just like laconic. Like he doesn't talk if it doesn't, if it, if it's not important, I guess that makes sense. He will small talk with people he knows already and so likes, small. but anyway, so then I had, um, Caradoc Dearborn. That, this is him. He goes by Ratto because when he and Benji, he and Benji are BFFs. When he and Benji were first in school, they, uh, they, uh, I don't remember. Oh my God. He was like, he said his name had something in it. And then Benji was like, yeah, but it also has Rad in it. And he was like, oh my God, I'm going to go by Ratto from now on. And that's how he came up with Ratto. That's why his name is Rado Dearborn. And also, he shove a F. Oh, my God. Like, he talks. No one understands what the heck he's saying. Generally, 90% of the time. Oh, my God. The suit. I forgot about this suit. He's so fancy. Yeah. He uses, like, crazy shove slang. He talks with that accent, you know, that one that no one can ever understand. So, a lot of the time, Benji acts as his... Um, translator, because he, Rado will talk and talk and talk and talk, and everyone's just like, what the F is this kid saying? We can't even take him seriously, because his words are not words. Clearly, he likes orange. Um, but, oh, I like this too. Schnazzy. Anyway, he like, he's a, he's a, he's a fit dresser. I don't know what shop's like right now. I don't have it in my brain, but. He, yeah, so he matches his, like, hat to his pants. He's pretty spiffy, but, yeah, total shop, like, so, and he, you know, he likes to steal stuff, but he dances real good, and he just wants to find some love, at least in this sim version of him, um, but yeah, so those are the three, the boys, let's get out of them and I have one more household to talk about however we're going to save this next household for the next video so that this one does not get too long um yeah so we're gonna stop this here